padre. Of course, aha, I know that. I go to mainstream every now and then just to see what propaganda is being pushed. Yeah. For me, I'm done with figuring out what propaganda is pushed. Like, uh, I, I get it from the people I watch, like uh, the, the Duran, Alex Jones, and uh, the Gray Zone. The Gray Zone does really good, good work as well, right? So I get, I, I know what propaganda they're pushing. But tell you the truth, I wish they wouldn't even talk about the propaganda that the corporate media is pushing. Because we sort of already know the agenda, right? We, like here, let's, let's switch this up. We know that this is a full-on proxy war now, right? We'll just change Niger for now. We'll just change Niger for now. But come next map, world map that we do and that next world map might be within within days latest within weeks because here we're going to switch this up to red right because it's a it's full-on proxy war right here niger proxy war went from a civil war to a proxy war right red this is going to go red this is going to go red this is going to go red this is fiasco baku what is it bar barkina fiasco is most likely going to, all of these are going to go red if the western powers have their way right so i rather do the what we're doing now do the predictions see the full picture the full game at play instead of looking at the immediate propaganda that they're feeding the masses because we've already gone past that right we know that the new york Times is lying about ukraine russia war because they've been lying about every fucking war that the united states has been involved in for the last few decades right do we really really need to know what the specific lie they're saying for me i don't right does it blow me away? Yeah, I mean, what kind of low IQ person believes what they're sh what they're spewing, right? We want to know where we're going from here, right? That's the purpose of this uh, sort of exercise that we're doing. So, for example, as we saw, pipeline. Why is the shit hitting the fan? Pipeline, gas pipeline, coming in from Nigeria going into Algeria and it splits off from here, but we're just going to go direct. We're going to Europe, right? Why did Syria happen? Why did Syria happen? Pars gas field here and it's split into Qatar and Iran, right? Saudi Arabia with Qatar, they were trying to get a pipeline going through Syria to feed Europe. Syria said, fuck you, right? I'm going to, go with Iran, go through Iraq, get that pipeline and feed it off. There's the same gas field. Saudi Arabia, Western world got really pissed off and they decided to do regime change in Syria. Well, here's a fucking pipeline going this way. It stopped here, but peace is coming here. Is that going to feed up there? Is it going to go through Turkey? Is it going to go through the Mediterranean? We don't know. Pipelines, right? Why did Afghanistan happen? Unical, pipeline, gas, oil, energy into coming out of this area, right? So that's what I'm mainly interested in, right? Because this tells us where the next wars are happening. This is going to make that look like a fucking... That's a walking your dog in a minefield. This is full-on multi-country war. If it happens, I hope it doesn't. I hope Russia and China can put a stop to it. But Newland went there and she got a nasty treatment. The neocons aren't going to take that well, right? They're going to try to blow the shit up, right? We're in war, war. Every war is escalating. We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes.